What's up guys? Today is Tuesday, April 18th, 2017, and today we're going to talk about last night's Raw. Eh, it was okay. It was okay. Um, I gave it like a C. Definitely, they're just trying to lead up to Payback, and I get that. It's not the best of shows. I'll start off with Braun Strowman and Kurt Angle having a promo. Braun Strowman's like, I want more. I want more competition. And Kurt Angle's like, you you like almost killed Roman Reigns, so we're gonna we're gonna give you the night off. And Braun's like, nah, no, nah, we ain't doing that. So that all leads to him just like destroying three or four like WWE superstars. He beat up Goldust. R Truth, Kalisto, all before the big show rammed him into a stage, and that made that match. So that set up for the main event, which was the big show was Braun Strowman. Uh, overall, that match, uh, pretty decent. Um, they did do the thing where two super weight, two super heavyweights fight, and the ring explodes. So that was, I laughed. I thought it was hilarious. I didn't get the holy shit vibe that, like, the crowd was getting, because I just thought it was funny. It has been done a million times, and it just seems kind of played out by now. Um, but what we are going to see during the Kurt Angle and Braun Strowman promo was that Braun Strowman is going to face Roman Reigns at Payback. So, obviously, Roman Reigns is fine. Like getting in the ambulance, getting flipped over and whatnot, he's fine, because in two weeks, he's going to be a payback, so we'll see. Uh, after that, Samoa Joe and Chris Jericho had a match. Uh, it was okay. They're definitely holding back, it seems, for the actual pay-per-views, which I enjoy. I always enjoy when the pay-per-view is like, oh, we're going to see the big stuff happen. Always enjoyed that. Uh, and after that, Samoa Joe called out Seth Rollins, who was on the commentary booth, and they're going to have a match, Seth Rollins and Samoa Joe, at Payback, which I'm pretty excited for. I like Samoa Joe. I watched him a little bit when he was in TNA, like, when TNA was, like, first getting up there, kind of big, and I like Seth Rollins, so that should be a good match. They're both very good. After that, we had Miz TV where uh, The Miz and Maurice called out Dean Ambrose. I thought it was great. I, The Miz did a great job. He's always killer on the mic, especially when he has Maurice right by him. He just is so good. And then Dean was, he was okay. He was pretty funny. He just, he just said that he's the Air Continental Champion and he's gonna prove it. So it makes me think, because it was not announced, Makes me think that at Payback, we're having a near continental title match, Miz versus Dean. We'll see. We'll see. After that was Mickey James, Alexa Bliss, Nia Jax, and Sasha Banks for the number one contendership for the uh, Raw Women's Championship that Bailey holds. It's fatal four way, no, not like elimination style or anything, just one pinfall that wins. Uh, Alexa Bliss. Uh, she was very fun to watch in that, that match. She was like on the top rope and Nia Jax like turned around. She's like, nope, not doing that. That sounds, nope, mm -mm. So she got down. It was adorable. And then at the end of the match when Nia Jax does her Samoan drop on Sasha Banks, Alexa Bliss, like a damn fox, kicks Nia Jax out and goes to the pin. And now she's the number one contender. I'm pretty excited. I like Alexa Bliss a lot. She's great in the ring, great on the mic, and Bailey is awful. Just my opinion. After that was Kurt Hawkins versus Finn Balor, in which was probably the fastest match of the night. Um, Kurt Hawkins, he's, I don't know what he's doing. He is, he's just failing, as far as I can see, as mid-carters go. He's becoming like the new Santino Morella. And Finn Balor just came out, he did a couple moves, did the coup de gras, boom, it's over. It's just showing off Finn Balor, really. And that's good. People have been speculating that he got hurt again, so I'm glad that he's not hurt again. Yay, Finn's back. 
After that, um, we had Jeff Hardy versus Cesaro, which Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy are going to face off against the number one contenders, Cesaro and Sheamus, at Payback for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Should be a great match. The match that Jeff Hardy and Cesaro had was very good. Very, like, new age versus a little bit older age. And I enjoyed the hell out of it. It was a great match. And I cannot wait for their tag team match. It should be I mean, legendary. It might steal the show. Because I'm not excited for a lot of the matches at that card. Maybe besides Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. That should be okay. Speaking of Bray Wyatt, he called out... Uh, Randy Orton talking more about the uh, the House of Horrors match, but I still don't know what that is. And he was like, after that match, I'm gonna burn it down with you inside. And I was like, oh, this is this is gonna be a nonsense match. I'm pretty sure that Randy's gonna win after all this all this hype. It just sounds like Randy's gonna win, mainly because Bray is on Raw now. And we need a champion on SmackDown. It just makes sense. We already have Brock Lesnar on Raw. It doesn't... It wouldn't make any sense. And then after that was the main event with Big Show and Braun Strowman. Eh, overall, not a terrible pay-per-view. There was a funny moment with Chris Jericho doing a promo. You know, always being a crazy guy. Uh, Chris Jericho did a promo. And then the, the strummer guy, the little banjo guitar guy came through and he got put on the list. I thought that was kind of funny. But overall, decent decent Raw. I wasn't dissatisfied. I understand they're just trying to get ready for the next pay-per-view. But, that's it for today. My name is Max. You've been watching The Secret Life of a Wrestling Fan. See you guys tomorrow. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends. I'll see you guys next time.